I will arise and go to my father. Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 16th day of our journey from wilderness to Calvary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I am sure there is no house which is without a Wi-Fi. As long as you are in the zone of Wi-Fi, you are connected to the world and you have every information at your disposal. But once you are away from the radius of Wi-Fi, you are cut off from the world. My dear brothers and sisters, we have a point here to reflect upon. As long as we are in the radius of God, as, we are, as long as we are connected with God, we have life, life in abundance. But once you disconnect yourself from God, you are stepping into darkness or moving towards darkness. And this fact is clearly told to us about, this fact is clearly told to us by today's gospel taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 to 24, 24, the parable of a lost son, the parable of prodigal son, which is very familiar to all of us. We've been listening to this wonderful story right from our childhood. Maybe this story could be a favorite of some of you who are listening and watching to this reflection. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, the younger son has asked for his share from his father. The moment he asked for his share, he was into the selfishness or he was cutting loose from the relationship of his father. Well, once he said, give me my share of property, he was cutting himself from the love of father. The father, though out of his love, has given him the freedom to go away as he likes. My brothers and sisters, the second aspect is once this child cut off from his father, he went to a distant country, a country which is full of drunkenness, a country which is full of partying, a country which is full of immortality, a, party, a, 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 a country which is full of selfishness and greed, a country which is full of sin and shame. And the younger son has chose the destiny there. Well, many brothers and sisters, he was like a seed that fell in a thorny bush. We know the parable of the seeds, Jesus explains, where he says, you know, some seeds fell on the ground, some seeds fell on the rocky ground, and some seeds fell in the thorny bush, which doesn't allow the seed to grow. The similar way, the sun has fell into this world, into a distant country, which was choking him, which was not allowing him to think properly. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, not only that, further, further, this, all, all these enjoyments, all these enjoyments he suffered, and this has made him to get into a famine. My dear brothers and sisters, when he had been into this famine, he was completely desolate, which means he spent everything that he had, the money, the time, and the energy, the resources, his flesh, his soul, everything was spent, and he was into complete famine. My dear brothers and sisters, he also suffered a natural disaster, disaster like the storms, sickness, accidents, death, much more than that, he was all alone without God's presence, without God's care and help. My dear brothers and sisters, the much more and dangerous thing that a son who enjoyed in the presence of father has been enslaved. He was enslaved, suffered enslavement, and then he went to the extent of taking care of the pigs. For a Jew, the pigs were considered to be unclean. And to touch the pigs was something unclean. And this man goes and then takes care of the pigs. My dear brothers and sisters, you see, cutting off from God, what all it can lead to, what all slavery we go through, 
But moment, the moment he realized, the son thought to himself, I will arise and go to my father and be in his presence. No matter that I will be a slave in my father's house, then suffer here. And that was a turning point in the life of this prodigal son. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, the moment he thought of it, he gets up, goes to his father, and the father was eagerly waiting. And then the gospel clearly says that the father was looking at the son. He himself, the father himself, runs halfway, hugs him, kisses him. Before, even before the son could explain or ask for sorry, it is just the steps that towards the father made father to run close to him. My dear brothers and sisters, let us also reflect a small reflection here about Zacchaeus. The moment Zacchaeus took a step to climb a tree, you know, Jesus comes close to the Zacchaeus, you know, and then Jesus says to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. What a beautiful thing, my dear brothers and sisters. Once we have a repentant heart, once we think of coming back to God, God welcomes us. And halfway, he comes close to us to hug us and kiss us. And you know, the beautiful thing that we also find that immediately the son wants to explain something to his father. He wants to ask pardon from his father. Before that, he says, you know, call the servants and then he says, put on the rope. Put on the rope. What is the meaning of this rope? You know, in the book of uh, Genesis, when Adam and Eve sinned, they realized that they were naked and they covered themselves. Here, the shame is removed. And the moment the father puts on the rope onto his son, which means to say that he has covered all his sins. Now he is completely accepted. And the second thing that we find here is the father tells, get a ring and put it to my son. And he takes the ring and puts it to his, to his son's finger. The ring symbolizes authority. He, the son thought that I will be, let me be a slave there. But then the father thought much more than that and then treated him like a king, gave him all the authority. And the third thing, my dear brothers and sisters, that he said to get the sandals and put the sandals to his son. And what is the meaning of this sandals? Restoration of him and giving a complete freedom to the son. Completely he's freed from guilt, he's freed from every kind of negativity and a complete acceptance is given by the father. And then the last one, the father tells, let's cut and then let's cut the goat and celebrate the coming of the son. And you know, what does this celebration mean? That to say that I am happy, the father is happy because of the coming of the son. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, how true are the words of Jesus who says, if hundred out of hundred sheep, one sheep is lot lost. The father, the shepherd, leaves in the ninety-nine and goes in search of one. And again, in the parable of lost coin, when a widow, when a woman finds sweeps the house and when she finds the coin, how happy she is! And that is expressed through this celebration. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, arise, I will go to my father. And this is the time, the Lenten season. Is a time to arise from our sin, get conscience and run to the light of Christ. Run to Jesus who can fill us with happiness, who can fill us with full of joy, peace and happiness. If we want this celebration to happen in our lives, well, we need to rise from our darkness and run to light to Jesus. If you like this reflection, kindly share, comment and then don't forget to contribute for the promotion of this channel, Liturgy TV. My dear brothers and sisters, daily 5 rupees for reflection, which will cost you 200 rupees for the whole 40 days. 200 rupees is nothing, is nothing, but you're doing a great charity to our brother and helping him to promote this channel to spread the word of God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.